We need you to hear from the tre the Treasury Union. We got a hard fight. We got a hard fight, Kelly. Kelly, right here. so so much for the opportunity to be here and stand with all of you so proudly and to stand with our true leaders in Congress who are with us in rain and snow yeah. and sleet and fight for federal employees every single day but it is an honor to be here with you the true representatives of the federal workforce yeah. thank you, thank you. Yeah. now I want to thank you for coming here to speak against this travesty I know that you do represent your colleagues across the country, in cities, across every state in this great country. Today, the unnecessary and damaging government shutdown has claimed another federal agency. Today, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is shutting down. This is an agency that oversees the safety and security of nuclear reactors, of nuclear materials and radioactive waste. And starting today, 300 of the 4,000 employees at the NRC, only 300 of them will be on the job for our country. It's appalling, and it's scary. Does that scare you? It makes me very, very nervous. They join today, these Nuclear Regulatory Commission employees join employees from the National Park Service and the Health and Human Services and the Internal Revenue Service and the Food and Drug Administration and the, uh, the uh, Federal Communications Commission and Financial, uh, I'm sorry, Food and Nutrition Services. Too many, hundreds of thousands of employees who want to do that work every day. And those workers who are coming to work, who have been ordered to work with no pay, have no idea when they will be paid. And of course, all those sitting home wondering how they will pay their bills. Today, paychecks are being processed for both accepted and furloughed employees. And those paychecks will be for six days only, instead of 10 days, not six days. And those losses for federal employees are going to go on as long as this shutdown continues. So I believe, and I know you join me in believing that this is an outrageous situation and completely avoidable. As we've all heard, and everybody here seems to know, and I don't know why the House leadership doesn't know it, there is a clean CR waiting for them to vote. So join me, excuse me, in sending that message. For whatever reason, they haven't heard it yet. Let them vote! Let them vote! Let them vote! Let them vote.